Okay, our next step is to compute the correlation coefficient. Um, to once we have that correlation coefficient, to then uh, at the same time we'll be finding a line of regression and our slope and y-intercept that if we did this by hand would allow us to actually graph it onto that scatter plot we created earlier. Uh, you know, the textbook shows you um, step by step how to find your correlation coefficient. What I, I asked you to watch those videos because I believe it's important for you to understand the, the rigor and the process of what you're doing to the numbers to manipulate them to find the correlation coefficient. But at the same time, because what we really need you to understand is what the correlation coefficient tells you. And so make sure that's the piece that you're going back and reading over um, and understanding the relationship that, that correlation coefficient describes. So with that said, um, you can see here, here's the for formula for correlation coefficient. You can see that they would have to go through here and just like they did in the videos underneath the video lectures, you have to go through and sum each x. That's right, square each x and add them all up and square each y and add them all up and, and you know, find the product of x, y and add them all up and, you know, do all this process to be able to plug those numbers into the formula and then do the correct order of operations. What I'm about to show you is, is that once you have these numbers pressed in the calculator, it's a simple keystrokes, matter of two or three keystrokes, and you have your correlation coefficient, you have your linear regression line, um, everything is all together at one time, and you can see what kind of fit you have, um, what kind of correlation you have, even better. So give me one second to switch screens, and we'll get started on that. Okay, as we come back in, let's just assume that we are doing this straight directly after we've already done the scatter plot, which means that we've already gone into our stat button, we've already gone into edit, and we've already put our data in for number 13. So we're using number 13 again from 10.2. So I've already put that data in, I'm all ready to go. So I'm going to go ahead and back, go back to my home screen. So we're kind of just, we're clear game from the home screen. Um, we're going to go into the stat key one more time. And this is to calculate. Um, the linear regression line. Um, when I go into the stat key, I'm going to use my side arrow to go over to calculate. We are going to go down. Now, you can see here there's one variable statistics, which we've already done with the graphic calculator. Um, we have, as you go down, you've got linear regression, quadratic regression, cubic regression. So you might, in other, other math classes at Thomas University, you might do some of these others. I'm just kind of scrolling down so you can see. We are going to choose the linear regression on number eight. Once you have that, once you're highlighted on number eight, you can press enter to choose it. Now, right here, the graphing cal the directions that came with the textbook tell you that you just press enter and it'll give you a linear regression. I'm going to go ahead and do that now. I'm going to follow the directions they've given, but I'm going to do it in an alternate method, uh, and I believe it's a little bit more of a shortcut because this is a little bit less keystrokes. Right now, the default is, is that it's going to calculate the linear regression for the numbers in list 1 and the numbers in list 2. So it's going to take those ordered pairs in list 1 and list 2 and put them together to calculate the linear regression. That's the default setting. So if I just press enter now, like it says on our screen over here, it says press 8 and put the home screen, press enter again, and it'll give you the answers for your order pairs. So right there, we have our line, our regression line, telling us that it has, basically it's going to cross the x-axis, I'm sorry, the y-axis at 10.4. It has a slope of negative 0.179. It has a correlation coefficient of point, um, and it has a correlation coefficient of negative 0.837, or 83, sorry. So that means it has a negative correlation. Um, remember, our correlation goes from negative 1 to positive 1. And what we're looking at there is we're saying to ourselves, we're saying, all right, well, if it's close to 1 at any point, then it actually has a strong correlation. So our, we're looking for the strong relationship between the ordered pairs to see if it gives us a strong linear relationship. So we have a, ne a strong negative um, linear relationship. So that's how we calculate our linear regression. It's that easy. Um, and so, so now we have that. We have the formula. At this point, you know, 
if we were doing this by hand, we would then have to come back to our graph and we would have to figure out how we would draw that line so that it fit, so that we had the right slope and everything so that it fit that data value. Now I'm just freehanding that in there, but you can see um, it crossed at like 10.4 on the y-axis and it had a slope of negative, what was it? Negative 0.17. So what I basically did there is I said, okay, well, I know it's got to kind of fit through the values in the scatter plot, and so I kind of eyeballed it, All right? So that's what you had to do by hand. But with the graphing calculator, we can at this point go ahead and let me bring up the scatter. There we go. At this point, what they're telling us is to plot the regression line, you can press the Y equals button. Oh, we may need to go turn that plot off. Excuse me. So let's arrow up, up on top of there. Turn that plot off. Oh, no, I want that plot to be on. Excuse me. Okay, so go down to the y equals. Make sure there's nothing in there. So it's clear any previous equations. Press the VARS button. The VARS button is located in the middle of the calculator um, keys. It says VARS. Press that. And it says move the cursor to EQ and press 1. Okay, so let's see. EQ. See if we can find EQ. I think they left something off because I think you go over here and you go to function. Oh, excuse me. It says to press VARS and then go to number five. Excuse me. And then it says once you're in number five, I didn't go in number five, Josh. I'm messing up my video and I'm halfway through. So let's go back to VARS. Let's go down to number five, statistics. Press enter. It says go over to EQ and press number one for regular, regular e equation. Okay, so now it brings, if you notice, it brought that equation. It brought the 10.4 and the negative 1.7 in that format that they provided us, where 10.4 is my y intercept, negative 1.7 is my. Um, slope and now I hit graph like the directions say on the right and there's my linear regression line so what this allows me to see is how closely do those data values on my scatter plot fit my graph or my um, fit the line of of my data and so you can see there's a few values here that are a little bit distance away, but most of the values, one, two, three of the values, four are very, very close to the line. We've got a little bit of air right there and a little bit of air right there, but these two ordered pairs kind of balance each other out. Hence the negative 0.83, negative because of the negative slope, and 0.83, so it's about 80% uh, a strength of a correlation coefficient. So that's one way, um, just real quickly, to go back and show you the other way. If I was going to do this, um, let's go, I'll clear here. And let's go and start back at stat. We'll go over to calc. We go down to number four, linear regression. And we tell it. We tell it. We say, I want to take the linear regression of L1, so I press the second key. And then L1 is located above the 1 key, comma, L2. So I press the second. I go L2. Now I'm going to press comma one more time. And now I'm going to tell it where I want it to put the equation. So I want it to put the equation in Y1, back on our Y equals screen. So at this point, I'm going to go back into my VARS key. Okay, so the next command is I'm going to tell it where to put it. So I go to VARS. I go over to Y VARS. So I arrow over to Y VARS. I go into functions. And there's the command for function 1, for Y1. So I choose that. So now what I've told my calculator is I want to find the linear regression and I used the wrong equation, but that'll be okay, of L1, comma, L2, and I want to put it in Y1. So when I press Enter, 
it calculates my data it puts things it's a little bit different but exact same numbers I hit graph and it puts it right back on top so a little bit quicker process still put the data in the same spot right where I wanted it um, you know just it gets you there a little bit more quickly so remember this is a Windows Media Player if you didn't catch that the first time just take your cursor and move that Windows Media Player um, bar back just a little bit and replay that press pause you know when I say hit a button press pause find the button in the calculator press it L listen to it a little bit longer press pause find the button press it all right, and so you just got to practice this. That's why I assigned you, I assigned you the problems 13 to 23, so that way you've got several of these to practice, and the quiz will be very similar. All right, so good luck with this. Um, please email me if you have any questions. Thanks so much for all your hard work.